Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani, and today on Raise the Line, I'm happy to be joined by Mel Hall. Mel was the former CEO of Press Ganey Associates, which many of you in healthcare know, it's used by thousands of health systems and hospitals around the world. Mel has focused his career on improving patient care across the world, but before Press Ganey, he also served as a Methodist minister in inner city Detroit, which we're going to get into how a minister becomes a CEO of a multi-billion dollar company. So Mel, it's a real pleasure to have you on the show today. Well, thank you very much. It's great to be here. I certainly admire what you all are doing. And uh, I guess as it relates to my background, maybe all it proves is I can't hold a job for very long. I don't think that's true at all. Or maybe you're, you have too many interests, it seems. So on that, I'm curious, uh, how did you go from being a, a Methodist minister to then becoming CEO of Press Ganey? Well, I was interested in, uh, in, in being in Detroit in this uh, poorest and most densely populated community because I, I always felt like... Uh, our belief system ought to follow, flow through our actions. And so I was always more interested in demonstrating and putting into practice what uh, I tried to believe more than just talking about it. And so this community center and church allowed uh, me to do that. And so that church was filled with programs for senior citizens, for youth job training programs. And for me, it was important to sort of demonstrate faith throughout the week, not just on Sunday or Saturday. As it turns out, it's probably about the best education I've ever received. You know, what advice would you give an early stage clinician or provider at this point? And then con on the flip side, what advice would you give a patient, given that you spent so many, so much years, so many years giving voice to these patients? Well, I'm not sure I'm in position to give advice to a clinician or a, a, a physician, but uh, other than to say, uh, I think most people get in healthcare because they want to take care of people. And they want to make people's lives better. And so <clears throat> whatever the support team around a clinician or a physician can do to remove distractions that take them away from patient care or distractions that take them away from delivering care to patients, I would be in favor of. And I, again, I think that's part of what osmosis is doing. When they get in those encounters with patients, they can focus completely on the patient. And so Again, far be it for me to give advice to uh, clinicians. Within healthcare and other arenas, there's almost this skepticism about expertise. Uh, and I, unfortunately, that has bled into, pardon the expression, into healthcare. And so when someone is with their physician or with their health provi healthcare provider, there's some sense of sort of giving oneself to the expertise uh, that I think is important and I think is somewhat missing in healthcare now. Thanks for watching this preview of Raised Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series, please go to osmosis.org forward slash Raised Line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.